Support operators are continually looking for equipment and technology that can make the loading and unloading of cargo more efficient and safer. However, they face some unique challenges to these objectives when overheight cargo arrives on flat racks and in open-top containers. Now, one of the world's leaders in cargo handling equipment has introduced an innovative solution that brings dramatic new levels of efficiency and safety to the handling of overheight cargo. The TMARS OHE Electromechanical Overheight Frame, exclusively from Buffers USA. Designed for use with any kind of parent spreader and spreader brand. To fully understand the advantages the OHE offers, let's first take a brief look at the problems associated with current methods and equipment used to handle overheight cargo. Slings and cables have long been used to load and unload overheight cargo on flat racks and in open top containers. However, it takes time and additional manpower to lay out and attach these to parent spreaders, then attach them to flat racks or open top containers. And when loading or unloading cargo in the hold of a ship, Attaching or detaching the slings always represents a potential safety issue. The introduction of the current overheight frame design in use today offered some operational improvements. However, these improvements come with limitations that also create risks. A quick review of the operation of this frame will clearly demonstrate the limitations and risks of this design. To begin with, the frame must be stored in a separate cradle before being joined to a parent spreader. For example, when the frame is needed for use with a ship-to-shore crane, that means moving the entire unit, frame, cradle, and the chassis it sits on, to shipside. Once in position at shipside, the parent spreader on the crane must first lock onto the frame with its twist locks. In this frame design, when the parent spreader twist locks open or close, the twist locks on the frame do so in tandem with the parent spreader twist locks. But if the frame were to leave the cradle at this point, the twist locks would be closed and unable to lock onto a load. So now the crane spreader must lift up the frame and move it to a second position on the cradle. In this position, when the parent spreader opens its twist locks, it also opens the twist locks on the frame. At the same time, hooks at the top of the frame lock onto the modified parent spreader. This modification takes the form of keepers that must be welded to the parent spreader. With the hooks locked onto the parent spreader, the frame can now be lifted with all the twist locks open. Once the frame is lowered to the cargo on a ship, the parent spreader can lock all eight twist locks, the load can be lifted and lowered to the transport vehicle. During loading and unloading, lifting and moving a heavy frame with hooks poses a potential safety issue. If the crane needs to use the frame for further loading or unloading, the hooks must remain attached to the parent spreader. When the crane no longer needs the frame, it must be returned to its cradle so the hooks can be released from the parent spreader. This inefficient multi-step process must be repeated every time the frame needs to be used by a parent spreader on a ship-to-shore crane. The TMARS OHE is a major leap forward in simplicity, safety, and capabilities for loading, unloading, and moving overheight loads at a port. The OHE does not require any cradle or any modifications of the parent spreader to be used. It can be stored on the ground and easily moved to wherever it's needed during a busy shift, anywhere in the yard or shipside. The OHE is fully compatible with any kind of parent spreader that allows for telescoping with locked twist locks from 20 to 45 feet. It can be used by reach stackers, STS cranes, or straddle carriers. Each OHE is delivered in three separate pieces, which can be assembled in a few hours. The connection between the parent spreader and the OHE is like that of a regular container by the twist locks on the parent spreader. When it comes time to attach or detach the OHE to a flat rack or open top container, an innovative mechanical assembly inside the OHE frame allows the parent spreader twist locks to open and close the twist locks on the OHE independently. To attach the OHE frame to a flat rack or open top container, the operator simply opens the twist locks on the parent spreader. This rotates the twist locks on the OHE to a locked position. The operator then locks the twist locks on the parent spreader, 
and lifts the load. Detaching the OHE from a load is just as simple. When the operator opens the twist locks on the parent spreader, the twist locks on the OHE rotate from a locked to an open position. The operator now locks the twist locks on the parent spreader while the OHE twist locks remain open. The OHE can now be lifted off the load. Safety is also greatly improved with the LED light displays on each side of the OHE. They provide the operator with the status of the twist locks during each operation. The lights receive signals from landing probes built into each leg of the OHE and the position of the twist locks on the OHE. A green light confirms that the parent spreader twist locks are locked to the OHE. The yellow light indicates that the OHE is properly positioned on the load, so the OHE twist locks can be locked to the flat rack or open top container with an over height load. And a red light comes on when the OHE twist locks are locked to the over height load. Consider how much faster and safer loading and unloading are when a ship to shore crane uses the TMARS OHE. The crane attaches to the OHE with its parent spreader twist locks and lifts it safely over the ship to the overheight cargo. The OHE is quickly attached to the open top container or flat rack, then returns to the dock. Now the crane can release the load onto a transport vehicle and continue using the OHE to load and unload cargo. When finished using the OHE, the STS releases it on the ground on the dock for easy removal by a reach stacker or straddle carrier. The TMARS OHE is clearly a dramatic improvement in the efficiency and safety of handling overheight cargo. And there are more features that enhance the ROI in the OHE. The OHE is powered by an internal 24 volt system charged by solar panels. It is also equipped with a smart power saving system which means that it will not drain the batteries when not in use. Should the solar panels become damaged or inoperable for some reason, the parent spreader can keep operating the OHE for up to 800 lifts from the previous charge. The batteries can also be charged through a standard electrical outlet connection. Unlike the complicated frame and cradle configuration, there is no special costly maintenance required throughout the life of the OHE, just routine lubrication. Every step in the operation of the innovative OHE is fast and efficient, attaching and detaching the OHE to every type of parent telescopic spreader found at ports today, without the need for modifications to the parent spreader. The TMARS OHE Electromechanical Overheight Frame from Buffers USA, offering an impressive ROI by bringing a whole new level of efficiency and safety to the handling of overheight loads in open top containers and on flat racks.